Hi, I'm Becky Streepy from Glue and & Glitter, and today we're making air fryer falafel. This is another one of my classic recipes that I wanted to give a little bit of a glow up to. It needed new photos, it needed a new video, and I wanted to spruce this recipe up a little bit too. I've added oven directions in case you don't have an air fryer. You'll find those oven directions in the written recipe that's linked in the description below. And I've also kind of changed up the ingredients a little bit. I've boosted the flavor on this even more and I can't wait for you to try it. This falafel recipe uses cooked chickpeas instead of canned. Traditional falafel uses canned chickpeas that you soak to soften and then blend up with all the other ingredients to make your dough. I wanted to save some time, so we're using cooked chickpeas instead so you don't have to wait to soak but I still wanted it to have that similar texture to traditional falafel, and that's why you're gonna start out by making an oat and cashew flour. It's going to give back a little bit of the texture that you lose by using cooked chickpeas instead of soaked uncooked. So let's start by making that flour. For most recipes, I say that you can use a blender or a food processor, but for this falafel, a food processor really makes things easier. Add a half a cup of cashews and a cup of rolled oats to your food processor. You can use raw cashews or roasted, it doesn't matter, just whatever you have on hand is fine. If you're nut free, you can use pumpkin seeds or sunflower seeds instead of the cashews. Now blend that up in your food processor until it reaches like a coarse cornmeal consistency. The reason that you do the flour first and then everything else is because the flour you want to grind up a little bit finer than the rest of the ingredients, so you can't do them at the same time. Once you reach that consistency, transfer that mixture to a large bowl and then put the food processor back because we're going to use it again. Now add two cups of cooked chickpeas or a 15 ounce can of chickpeas that you've drained the liquid off of one carrot, and as you can see, I kind of cut my carrot into big chunks to make life a little bit easier for my food processor. A whole carrot in there would take forever to blend down. Then add a half a cup of fresh parsley leaves and a half a cup of fresh cilantro, two cloves of garlic, two tablespoons of soy sauce, the juice of a fresh lemon, which is about two tablespoons of juice, a tablespoon of flax meal, a teaspoon of ground cumin, and a teaspoon of ground coriander. Now you're going to run your food processor again and just keep on going until you have a finely minced mixture. You don't want to go until you have like a hummus consistency here. Your falafel will be too wet that way. You want it to be like fine and crumbly. Transfer the chickpea mixture to the same bowl that has the flour that you made and then mix it all together until you form a crumbly dough. This is not gonna be like a cohesive ball of dough and that's totally fine. You just wanna make sure everything's mixed nice and evenly. And now it's time to form those balls. So with clean hands, just grab yourself a handful of dough and press it together into a ball. The dough should stick together with pressing, but it's not gonna hold up to like rolling like it would if you had a nice stretchy dough like a bread dough. You'll end up with about 12 to 14 balls, and what you'll do now is either transfer them to your air fryer basket, or if you're baking, transfer them to your baking sheet. But we're air frying today, so let's talk about that. You want the balls to be in a single layer in your air fryer basket. It's okay if they're touching a little bit, you just don't want them like on top of each other. And then you have the option here to spritz with oil. Remember that a propellant spray, like the spray bottles you buy at the grocery store of oil, that is too fine a mist and it can actually over time damage your air fryer basket. I recommend just investing in a spritz bottle for your oil. That way you can spray stuff in the basket. You don't have to do it separately. So just spritz with oil if you want. I like to do this because it gives it a little bit of a crispier outside, but you don't have to do it if you don't want to. Then you'll air fry at 370 for 12 minutes. And after eight minutes, give the basket just the gentlest of shakes. Just kind of move it back and forth a little bit it's more of a wiggle than a shake. You don't need to move things around a whole bunch because you have a single layer. You're just making sure that if anything is stuck to the basket during that initial cooking time, you kind of dislodge it. When the cooking time is up, you're ready to serve. As you can see, I served this up over salad greens with my magical lemon tahini sauce on top. 
It's great in a salad like this. It's also great stuffed into pita pockets with lots of veggies, and you can even use that same dressing. I hope that this video has answered all of your questions about how to make air fryer falafel. If you have any questions I didn't address, feel free to drop a comment. I'm always happy to help. And don't forget to rate and subscribe. Happy cooking. Thank you.